What's up, boys and girls? Today we're back with another build overview, something we just finished on an extremely popular application. We do quite a few of these, and I'm sure a bunch of other people do. Uh, it's been done a million different ways with all kinds of different swap parts. Uh, we went to our tried and true Holly systems on this particular build, just because we know everything works. So we're using Holly mounts, Holly pan, Holly accessory drive, Holly headers, uh, Holly everything. Holly Terminator, uh, except we didn't use the Holly exhaust. We used a pipes uh, performance exhaust on this one. But other than that, it's all Holly. So if you want a super easy way that's tried and true and you know what's gonna fit, check out all the Holly stuff. I'll actually put a build link of every single piece that we used in this, uh, and maybe even make it so it's available on our website just as one big uh, purchase. But let's get on the engine bay and check this thing out. So like I said, it's all Holly. Everything here, we've got the uh, Holly accessory drive. We have uh, Holly headers and Holly mounts. Uh, we're using a Holly sniper drive-by cable here with the Holly Terminator. And just a little overview of the engine. So this is a 2005 Escalade six liter. We're using a stage one, you could consider camshaft in this. So we actually went ahead and uh, changed the lifters the push rods the springs the oil pump timing set and did a, a clean on the heads so we did a, a resurface a valve job and just cleaned them up we're using a trailblazer ss intake manifold on this that does clear the hood if anybody was saying i don't know if that thing's going to clear the hood but one nice thing about the holly mounts is you can use the truck intakes and it clears the hood uh, the only place that gets really close is our intake that we made here. That's really the only spot that gets close. But everything else gives you tons of clearance everywhere around. Uh, tons of clearance, not necessarily around the headers, but they do go in without any crazy uh, modifications to the frame or anything like that. Uh, super easy to make AC lines for this thing. Uh, I wish I kind of would have pattern that so we could have just sold it all as a kit but unfortunately I didn't but as you can see it's it's pretty easy to make uh, we're using a northern radiator like we use in pretty much every swap that we do the Durrell dual fans again like we use in pretty much every swap and overall it's a pretty straightforward deal here it's uh, using the Holly stuff that you know is tried and true it all works you don't have to guess and get mounts that are from one company and a trans mount from another company and you're trying to fit it all together. This all works. If you watch any of our other videos, you know that we pretty much talk about Dakota Digital in every build. And in this case, we're using the factory gauges. One, because everything's still in great condition. And two, right now, Dakota Digital is on a 10 week wait for this particular gauge package and we didn't want to wait so this kind of gave me an opportunity to show you another option for people that uh, maybe want to do it for a little bit cheaper and still use the factory cluster but you can use this guy right here this is from dakota digital it's a signal converter to a cable drive so for us, since we're using the Holly Terminator, we can actually use the speed output right out of the Holly Terminator and use that as an input right into the box. The box does its magic and shoots out to the, through the cable, goes right to the cluster. So this thing will work on any cable driven throttle bot or uh, gauge cluster. They have a bunch of different adapters as far as what you can 
adapt from the other end of this cable. So there's a couple different GMs, there's a Ford version. So there's pretty much every, every kind of contraption available to hook up to all kinds of different clusters. Uh, it's just a power and a ground and the signal wire and it just works. Uh, you can actually set it up through uh, an Android or uh, iPhone app. Uh, we actually set this one up through the iPhone app. You just go in and say, this is my tire size, uh, this is the pulses per minute, and it's done. So that's a pretty cool thing uh, for a lot of you guys that want to try and use the factory clusters or don't want to spend $800 on a, on a cluster. Uh, this thing is still, it's about $300, so it's not the cheapest thing, but uh, it actually it makes this the install a lot easier. Uh, it just plugs in like it would. Uh, since we're using the factory cluster, obviously we're using the factory sending units. Uh, we have the coolant temp sensor in the passenger side cylinder head and the uh, oil pressure down at the bottom. So that's basically it on this G body. Uh, one thing I didn't mention is it has a 4L80 that again we use on pretty much everything. Uh, it's a pretty strong transmission, it can hold up anything. So uh, that's about it. Uh, if you got any questions on this swap or any other swap that we're doing, uh, hit me in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer any questions we can. Like I said, I'm going to try and put a parts list together of all the stuff we used on this particular swap. So uh, if you guys want to copy this swap, you can. Uh, and you can just buy it all one big package and do it in your garage. Uh, anybody that has mechanical know-how can do this swap, I, I guarantee you. Uh, the Holley Terminator, ma Terminator makes it extremely easy to, to wire and fire these cars. It's just a, a couple wires. Uh, I'm sure there's all kinds of videos online of, of how to wire these things up, but if you got a question, for sure hit me up. I'm happy to help. Uh, that's about it. And uh, if you guys like this video, please like, subscribe, send me comments. Uh, I really enjoy hearing from you guys, and uh, I will continue to keep making more if you guys like these. And we'll see you on the next one.